boy Kyron Gorman. Cops are shifting the focus to the last one to see little Kyron, his stepmom. Now distributing a flyer asking if anyone he saw Terry Gorman at the school June 4th, the day Kyron went missing. Here's more of what we learned at a press conference moments ago. They, along with Kyron's family, are asking the community's assistance regarding anyone who saw not only Kyron, but also who may have seen Terry Horman, his stepmother, and or the truck that she was driving, the family truck that she was driving that morning, a white Ford F-250. Again, on June 4th, Terry Horman was reportedly the last one to see her stepson walking down the hallway at Skyline Elementary. She says she dropped him off. Was she indeed the last to see him? As always, we take your comments and questions. Call us 1-877-TELL-HLN. Back with us to talk about it, HLN law enforcement analyst Mike Brooks and investigative journalist Michelle Sagona. She has constant updates on this story at her website, michellesagona.com. Uh, Michelle, anything stand out to you at the press conference today? Well, you know, there was obviously the new flyer and also the questionnaire that was released. And in that questionnaire, uh, Mike, and I'm, I'm sure that you've looked at it, uh, there are specific pictures of Terry and also specific questions geared towards the children, asking them if they saw Kyron's stepmother, if they saw the truck that she was driving. Now, of course, I do want to keep in mind that she obviously is not a person of interest at, at this point right. or suspect, uh, but she is the last person to have seen her stepson. Also, in addition, I, when I spoke with one of the lieutenants earlier today, I asked her about the reports that are out there about the pings from the stepmother's cell phone uh, that came back to the island in the area that they've been searching now for days. Uh, the lieutenant will not, would not get into anything mm -hmm. uh, on the background of that particular investigation, would not confirm or deny those particular reports, but you can see on your screen right there, that is the truck that Kyron may have been in uh, prior to him going missing, and that is obviously his stepmother on your screen as well. Wow. Okay, again, that's a Ford F-250 pickup truck. That's one of the main questions. Anybody see that truck at the school that day? Mike, let's pick up on what Michelle was talking about, the cell phone things. And the story as we know it, Mike, uh, from the stepmom. And again, the details have been pretty scarce, but she drops Kyron off, goes back home, plays a game on Facebook, ran some errands, went to get him, I believe, at the bus stop when he wasn't there. She calls police. Now, in the midst of this, we could have cell phone pings from her phone at Savi Island where we know divers and rescue teams have been searching. Your thoughts on that? Absolutely. And Mike, part of that, the cell phone pings, they're going to take that. They're going to match it up. If they took her, I believe they took her computer, take a look at the timeline. When was she on the computer? When did she sign on? When did she sign off? When was she on Facebook? These are things that investigators can easily find. I thought there was one very interesting statement today to Mike by uh, Captain Gates during his press conference. And he said, quote, the need for the public to be alarmed is very low. So what does that say to me as a foreign investigator? That they don't think, or it's very low possibility that it was a stranger that came in and snatched um, somebody. Oops. Otherwise, they would be telling people, you know, to watch your children and to be alarmed. And there could be a possibility of someone else disappearing. But they're not saying that. Okay, let's get a call in. Susan and is with us, Nevada. Real quick, Susan, go ahead. Yes, I, I agree with, uh, I think that the stepmother had something to do with it. It seems that no other adults were, um, no other unknown adults were on campus that are on the, uh, in school that day. So it's unlikely that some stranger would have abducted him. There was no one in the building that nobody recognized. Okay. Um, so I honestly think the stepmom was the last person to see him, and that's the first place they should be looking. Okay. Uh, and, and as Michelle had pointed out, not a person of interest as of yet. Michelle, you want to make a point? Well, I was just going to say that, you know, Mike, you and I have seen in so many of these cases where if investigators really don't have a lot of information right off the top, Kalia Wilson case, Ben Ownby, a lot of those missing child cases, mm -hmm. they are laying it out on the line and saying, you know what, this is everything that we have. In this particular case, and sometimes on these investigations, when investigators are moving in a particular direction, that's why they hold back on a lot of this key information. And so, so some people in the public may say, well, we want to know more. We want to know, you know, uh, more about the stepmother more about this more about that well the reason why they are keeping quiet is because they're obviously working some sort of angle an angle that we don't know yet right exactly. michelle only runs some passion concerning you know people look at this were there red flags concerning the stepmom that seems to be where the focus could be going facebook uh, is is a place we don't want to go too far with it but there, there are questions is it true she didn't have any pictures of kyron on the facebook page in the days after he went missing and her authorities talking here, about that 
Well, authorities aren't talking about that, but apparently uh, everyone in Kyron's family had changed their main profile picture. If you have a Facebook account, uh, you'll know that you have a main profile picture, which you can display at any point and that anyone can see if you make that public, and that they were all featuring the child, and that it took about six days for her to change the picture of her biological daughter uh, onto Kyron's page. Uh, so that was sort of a red flag to many because, you know, in a lot of these cases, and again, you know, not kind of cracking down on the way that the, that the family is no. handled because that is their business um, that, that is completely their business but um, you know a lot of times in these cases you see those kinds of things happen pretty quickly right and most of the time the family wants to get the word out get pictures out any way possible Michelle Mike guys thanks so much uh, now this story the biological father of kidnaps or I will put the uh, full press conference in the description of this video